Good morning, class. Good morning, Madam Peace. I am going to make you choose from the burgers. On the board, you can see two different types of burgers. The one on the left is our cheese burger with the bun and the patty. On this side, we have the Big Mac, which has two patties, a lovely piece of bacon. It has sauce dripping all over, lovely fresh crispy lettuce. How many of you, if you were really hungry and you went to McDonald's, who would buy this burger? Who would buy this burger? Yes, excellent. Even I would buy that burger. But who can tell me why? Why would you buy that burger and not this one? Because yes? that one is bigger and it will make you full. Yes, it's bigger, it will make you full. Because it's more juicy than the others. Because it's more juicy than the others. Very, very good. You're right. Today's lesson, I based it on adjectives. The reason being is that the learners tend to enjoy that. It's a hands-on activity and they, tend, they see it in their everyday lives so they can comprehend with that and understand it. Fold your arms and close your eyes. I used a story based on grade fours as these are grade four learners. And I used a burger and McDonald's as they can associate with that. A lot of them like burgers and they enjoy fast food. So using that, they were able to imagine everything that I told them. All of these things that this burger has inside it is called its ingredients. What is it called? Ingredients. Ingredients are all the things that make up a food dish. And in a burger, you have to have your lettuce, you have to have tomato, you've got to have the patty that is the most important. These are called your ingredients. Okay, who can tell me, if you look at this burger, what ingredients make up this burger? Yes. Lettuce, lettuce. good. Letters. Yes. Cheese. Cheese. Yes, we have some lovely cheddar cheese here, hey? Yes. Bacon. Good. Bacon. Very, very good. Yes, Kate. Patty. Patty. That's a nice one. We have the yummy patty. All of these items make up the ingredients. All of these ingredients are names of things. You don't just call the letters this green thing, do you? No, no it has a name. It is called letters. letters. What do we call naming words? Things that have a name are called? Nouns. Nouns. Very, very good. Now we're going to add on to these nouns. Let us take, for example, the cheese. Cheese. Okay, if you look at this cheese, how does it look to you? Does it look boring and ugly or how does it look? Yes? Delicious. It looks delicious. Good. Looks delicious. What color is the cheese? Yes? White. It is white in color. Good. Okay, now we have just, you have just told me more about the cheese and more about this letters. All of these words that you have used here, delicious, fresh, all of those words are called describing words. What are they called? Describing words. Good. But because you are now in grade four, you are no more small little children, you are now big, yes or no? Yes. yes. So now we're going to learn some big words. Okay? Instead of saying that these are called describing words, we are going to name them and we are going to call them adjectives. What are we going to call them? Adjectives. Good. They are called adjectives. An adjective is a what word? Yes. It's describing words. Very good. Adjectives are describing words.
Nouns and adjectives are an important part of a lesson as they tell the learners what is the subject of that sentence so they know exactly what it is we are focusing on in that lesson. I ate a burger. Now before we do anything to the sentence, who can tell me what is the noun in the sentence? What is the noun in the sentence? Yes? Burger. Burger. Well done. Okay. Now, if we look at these four sentences, starting from I ate a burger, going right down to I ate a lovely, delicious beef burger. Which sentence do you prefer, the first one or the last one? The last one, good. If you're using group work, learners have each other as support. So those that are struggling or don't really understand, they have the others there to help them. Okay, let's form our groups quietly. Shh. Okay, good, are we ready? Yes. We had various roles so that learners know exactly what needs to be done and exactly who needs to do what. So when I said uh, the scribe, the scribe is the writer. I asked for somebody with a neat handwriting so that they know in the group you write nicely, you can be the scribe. So that it gives each person a role and it makes them also feel important because they know what they need to do. It sounds nice. If you just say I ate a burger, it sounds okay, but not too nice. But if you say I ate a lovely, delicious uh, beef burger, it gives the person an idea of what this burger tastes like. And it's the describing words are there to help them one day if they would like to describe things or explain things to people, they are able to use describing words. I had a dog, I had a big dog, I had a big brown dog. I had a big brown cute dog. I ate a lovely delicious tasty ice cream. Well done. Please turn it around. Who knows what is the noun in that sentence? Let's go with her. Yes? Ice cream. Ice cream. Well done. Good. Ice cream is our noun. What are our adjectives in that sentence? Delicious. Yes? Delicious. So I'm sure that you all know what are nouns and what are adjectives. Once you've explained everything and they know exactly what needs to be done, they know their roles, you've explained everything, then it tends to be a smooth transition. Because then they know exactly, okay, this needs to be done. And I've done an example on the board with them to show them, okay, this is what I expect from you. It's easier for all of them to understand that because even if they have a bit of a language barrier or cultural difference, they can understand what you're doing using pictures and the drama.